Hi there, welcome back to video two of our ice cream painting with our theme, Taste and See the Lord is Good. And so I just welcome you. This is for the One Kingdom Studios. I'm Anna Rose Hope. I will be your teacher. And I love to um, teach painting, art, and the word. And first and foremost is to bring it all together with the presence of God. And that's what we as kingdom people do. We center our lives around the presence of God. Maybe that's new for you. Um, maybe not. But I just pray that that will be something that you will just be so blessed by and um, or learn even more about as we are in this space together painting, enjoying, teaching, sharing, and just letting the Lord have his way. And so I welcome you. I bless you all, whether you're um, a whole family watching today and or just, just one of the kiddos or maybe even a mom. I don't know. I don't know who's watching. <laughs> We're going to streamline these more specifically for different age groups as we go, but I've just had to step out and get started. And isn't that, you know, what we do? We just use what we have. We obey the word of the Lord and we love people, use our gifts and love people. And so that's what we're here to do today. You, if you watched the first video, you would already have your supplies. And we went over those last time. Today we're gonna use our three colors for our ice cream, or just depending on how many scoops you decided to do. I did three, so I'll have strawberry ice cream, mint chip, and vanilla. There's white paint in here. And for our ice cream cone, a brown of some sort or whatever color you choose. You don't have to do the colors that I'm doing. Um, and then you also want either a dark blue or a purple or a black um, to do shading. Again, if you're gonna follow along as I'm leading here. And so we'll have our paints and we should have, again, our, our palette, our brushes, paper towel, our water, and each other, right? And the Lord. And so let's pray first before we even get started. And so Father God, I thank you for this time. We thank you so much that you love art, that you love painting, that you invented it, and you have given us this time to paint together. So we thank you. Father, I thank you for all the moms and the dads, the families that have allowed this time for their children to paint. I thank you for letting them trust me to come into their homes on this video and bring this lesson and bring your word and, and, and just welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. So we do welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, um, you who knows all, you know our hearts, you know what each one of us is going through, whether it is joyful or whether it's hard, whether it's sad, whether we're angry inside, you know our hearts. And so even as we are going to paint today, and I feel like it's a time to just paint in a joyful place. Um, if you're not in that place, God knows. He knows you. The Holy Spirit knows you. And so you can take time and talk to him too. And don't feel um, discouraged if you can't put on a happy face. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes I say, God, I want to want to want to have a happy face. <laughs> I always can start there. We always can start there. Um, but anyhow, so hello, hello again. I'm so glad to be here. There's a song that we kind of listen to at Christmas time sometimes called Joy to the World. I'm going to play it for just a second here to kind of kind of set the atmosphere um, with just this joy. But if you need to pause this video and just turn it on for yourselves, just take some time and just dance, have a dance party and then come back and paint. Or if you can turn on the music um, while you paint, do both, you know, that's totally up to you. Um, whatever suits you, whatever suits your family. And so I just, again, we're thinking about ice cream. And so this song here, you know, we don't have to listen to it just at Christmas. We can listen to it anytime because it talks about the goodness of God. And that's our message. Taste and see the Lord is good. Ooh, let me see. Taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is he who trusts in him. Psalm 34, 8. Psalm 34, 8. Yes. 
Okay, so hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's have a little dance party joy time um, for just a moment and then we'll get painting. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, I pray our hearts, like the earth, would receive Jesus as our King. May we each have room in our hearts for Jesus. Jersey and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven, nature sing. Y'all can just have free time, freestyle. I don't know all the words. <laughs> Sometimes it's just dancing. Just having that joy. Just come, Holy Spirit, with your joy. Just fill the room, fill the place. Yeah, that you are good no matter what, no matter what. Okay. <laughs> Again, take time, go dance, have fun, then come on back. We will get started painting our ice cream cone okay so we could just simply jump in get our colors and start filling these in totally so if you want to do that you go right ahead um, for me everything has meaning every color has a meaning again as we talked about in the first video that when we're painting we can just go paint by ourselves the Lord's always with us but we can just kind of check out and go paint, kind of escape, that's fine. Um, but we can, like we said before, invite the presence of the Lord to paint with us. So maybe I get this pink paint, and I'm thinking strawberry, and I start painting it, and I'm like, Lord, what do you wanna to say to me today through this pink paint? What's on your heart? What is strawberry ice cream? Why do I like it so much? You see, so you have a conversation with God, um, and he may even tell you, you know, some deep mystery that's in the word regarding the, the color pink. And there are people that they research the colors by the word of God and by the Holy Spirit together. And they have some, some wonderful mysteries of all the different colors. So God is the creator of them all. And so it all has to do with the relationship with God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So anyways, you get your first color out. I believe, I think I'm gonna do vanilla on the top for mine. And so, oh, I love vanilla ice cream. Anybody else? Yeah, it's so fun because it's kind of like a blank canvas. You can just enjoy it as is. I could put a white canvas on the wall and just enjoy it. Or you could add sprinkles and chocolate syrup, or strawberries. You can add whatever you wanted. Um, so it's fun. Okay, so you're gonna take your flat brush. We talked about flat brushes, and we talked about like round brushes. So you're gonna take your flat brush, and, and if you don't have one, that's okay. Just use what you have, right? This is just about enjoying the Lord, enjoying each other, and just enjoying the paint. So we're not painting Mona Lisa's here, okay? <laughs> We're just gonna have fun. So I'm saying joy to, joy to the world. And so I'm just gonna fill in mine here. You can do yours, fill in yours. Just get it a solid color. And then some people, you maybe you wanna do it two colors at once. I'm gonna do a little bit of shading. Um, just I'm just gonna try to keep it real simple but then you can um, feel free to be creative and take it wherever you want to take it I want to make this where where um, anybody can can do it so some of us are a little more artistically gifted than others and we celebrate that and 
And so I'm just gonna, I guess it's kind of hard to even see because it's light. Let me put, I'm gonna put a little bitty dab of brown, just a itty bitty bitty, and that's gonna even warm up this vanilla. So it'll be warm vanilla. Brown is a warm color. So watch this. I just put a itty bitty bitty. I put a blob, but then I took just a little bitty dab out of that and put it into my white. Okay, and the thing about painting is we're gonna create light. So in order to do that, you have to have darks and lights. And so we always wanna pick a side that our light is gonna shine from. And so I'm gonna pretend like my light is shining from this way. So that means my, my lights, my highlights are gonna be on this side and my shadows are gonna be on this side. And so right now I'm gonna take that brown that I made and I'm gonna kinda of go over here on this side where the light doesn't hit and I'm gonna kinda of fill that in like that. You can see? Maybe it's a little bit shining. Let's see if I can dim the light a little. See if that helps. I don't know. It's kind of shiny. But I'll do a little bit more brown so you can see the contrast. A little bit. A little bit better. But anyway, you can put that and just and then go back and get your little color. And just fill it in. Remember how we told we said to use our brushes yesterday, not when you're painting them, turn it like a pencil to trace your lines. So that way the brush doesn't go like this. <laughs> okay, so and like my words are showing through right now. And so right now I'm just gonna leave them and let them show through. You may want them to show through if you put words on yours. Uh, but you may not. And so what you would do is just let it dry and then come back with another coat. So I'm gonna just leave it as is right now. And I got some a splatter of paint right there. So this is a perfect opportunity to say, oh, it's okay, don't cry. <laughs> just take a baby wipe. They work the best. Um, and just kind of wipe it off. And so it's gone just like that. Um, or you can take a little bit of a damp paper towel um, if you didn't have a baby wipe. I forgot to mention that those are very handy tools to have. And so, anyhow, so we've got our vanilla on there. I've got my first scoop, and I just, I'm glad I put the brown in there because it just seems so warm and homey and cozy right now. And so that's something for me personally that just, just brings such delight to my heart. And so um, you can maybe go around the table if y'all are at the table or um, somehow be able to share if you feel like the Lord is speaking to you anything about the colors that you're choosing or the flavors. I wish we had a way to be interactive on here. That would be the best. But right now we don't. So that's that. And now I'm going to do, I believe, my strawberry ice cream. So scoop number two. You're just going to put a dab of paint. Just a dab. About, I guess, like a between like a nickel size, and fill that in. And again, you're going to use your brush like a pencil and just go under and just fill it in. It's real simple. And you can make your brush strokes however you want. Up and down, side to side. And do a little 
と救い止めが。Now I'm just kind of leaving some of my outline because I kind of like it right now. But if you have your outline, you want to cover it up. You do that. Um, so you would just come outside like that. I don't know if you can see that. But you would just use your brush like a pencil. And see now that line's gone. Whichever you want it to do. Okay. We got that scoop. That's a big old giant scoop. We got that one painted. And again, my words are showing through, but it's fine. I like it. And that, um, we talked about having a little bit of a, a color for a shadow. And so you can either use this blue if you have a dark blue, or like I pulled out like a darker pink. Um, or you can even do, I might do a little bit of both. So I'm gonna pull out a little bit of a darker pink and a little bit of a blue. Let's see. It's an itty bitty dab. And then so I'm gonna use the same color that I had. Just get a little bit of water on there. And then I'll take the colors that I'm gonna make my shadow. Hmm. I made a purpley color, but I don't really like it. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm dab it off on the paper towel a little bit and then I'm going to take this darker pink. We'll just see how we like that. And I'm going to go again on our side. Oh, our light came off. Well, I guess, I don't know where that is. I guess we're going to finish up without the light on. Okay, so we are going to just do a little bit of shadow right there. Can you see? Let's do a little bolder. And then you want to come, this is sitting underneath that scoop, so there will be a shadow there too. And so you can put a little bit of a darker color there. This is if you want to shade it, so you don't have to. And just kind of fill it in. So fun, huh? Let's fill it in a little bit. So, so fun. Okay, we're almost ready for our third scoop. I would take just a little bit of light because we're painting the light, right? Because our light went out. <laughs> we're gonna paint the light. We're gonna be the light. We're gonna paint the light. And so just add a little bit of white right there. This makes our ice cream come alive a little bit. Just imagine where the light would hit it and then put you some white paint on there. Really, really simple. Okay, so now mint chocolate chip, here we come. Here we come. And I really don't know. I don't know why the light's not working. Oh, there it is. It just got tired, I guess. So, okay, mint chocolate chip. I'm gonna do my third color. And I'm gonna turn the music back on. Is that okay? paint open. Sometimes I am all dancing and painting. Sometimes I get really quiet. So we might be in all different places at one time. Okay, so this is really like toothpaste. Um, so I don't want toothpaste ice cream. But I'll just take a little bit of green because you can mix colors, right? I had this green. It's kind of a funky green. But I'm gonna put a little bit on here, and I'm gonna hope I can mix it together and make more of a mint color. So I'm gonna take just a little bit. If you wanna mix, just always start with a little bitty dab of the other color and kind of see. 
see. Yeah, I think I like it okay. And then you can always just get a little more, add a little more. It's always easier to start with a little and then you could add, add more. So I think I got a color I like. So I'm gonna try it on here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of white, even just to my mixture here. So it's a little, little bit of that turquoisey blue, a little bit of limey green, and a little bit of white if you wanted to make a mint chocolate chip. brush like a pencil and we're gonna stop here after this cone and we'll finish up in video three and don't forget to share if the Lord's speaking to you anything about your colors or just anything you want to share sometimes our things they're private to our heart and um, or things we share with our parents But I hope you've had fun today just painting the fun colors. Oh yeah, and what are some practical ways that we can taste and see that the Lord is good? What if tonight, um, when you sat down to dinner, like just taking a bite of something, your favorite thing on the plate and just really tasting it and just thinking about how amazing it is that you have food to eat or um, a family to eat with, uh, whatever it is. Sometimes sometimes we just have to make ourselves choose something to be grateful for. Um, and so those are really practical ways that we can taste and see that the Lord is good. Um, that's a big old giant. I'm saying that's a big old giant. <laughs> Bottom there. I'll have to fix that up a little bit. But um, anyways, yeah, yeah. So just remember... You are so loved. I'm so glad to be here with you. I pray and hope that this is a fun, delightful time of working on our taste and see masterpiece. Okay, till next time.